I had a request for a um, you know, video just to show at this uh, Harbor Freight Trencher that I got could load a um, pickup truck. So I had it out yesterday and um, I'm using it to load a garden cart here. Um, basically I've got a spring flower bed that's gotten kind of overgrown and I think with about 17 foot in diameter and what I'm doing is I'm digging out the um, radius around the outside of it trying to remove the topsoil and um, turn it into about a 24 foot diameter garden. Um, so here I am I'm just kind of trying to scrape out the topsoil and um, the ground is really, it's its so dry, we're in a severe drought, it's like like concrete, it's just about hard as a rock, the, um, the topsoil and dirt. So, um, you know, it's a little bit of a struggle getting it out. And if you notice that I look like a uh, drunken sailor operating the, um, the trencher, it's because just before I did this, I flip-flopped the, um, the up-down boom hoses on the valve to um, see if that would help me any and it turned out that um, I'm having a hard time getting adjusted to it so it's going to take me a little while so um, yep I'm hoping to get better over time so um, you know basically this video is just showing that um, that the cart that I'm loading the sidewalls of it are 36 inches high and you have to get it really close to the trencher to be able to um, get anything in it. And basically, I don't think you really would want to load over anything that was about three feet tall like that. Um, I guess you could get it high enough to load into a pickup truck bed if you tried. But um, by the time you got done, you'd be losing most of the load and you'd really... Um, have a very limited area that you could um, have that truck placed in. So you know, basically, this is just a um, just a quick video to show that um, you know I think about the maximum trailer or you know truck that you would want to try to load with this is um, going to be about a you know a th three foot wall side wall or maybe you know a couple inches more, but that would be it. Now I have actually um, sped up the video on this, so I am running it uh, about 50% faster than what um, the trencher normally operates at the speed of it. So don't think that it's uh, it runs all that fast. But um, if you take and uh, you, you watch through some more of this video, um, there are several different angle shots shown um, loading it in different positions to kind of give you an idea now there it is that's about the highest right there that you can go in um, I would say you could clear probably a 42 inch high um, trailer side but you know I don't really think you could really um, go that much higher on it and I did find it kind of a challenge trying to um, follow the outside of a radius you can see I painted a um, radius line around the outside edge there and um, it's kind of like you can only move one lever at a time so you're constantly kind of fiddling to um, get it to uh, to follow any kind of uh, radius or anything that's not a straight line but um, in the end, it wound up doing a uh, you know a pretty decent job at it once I got used to um, just kind of trying to feather the different le levers to uh, keep it from going too deep and uh, just kind of keep it peeling the topsoil off. Now this was really a, um, a very low grade topsoil that uh, contains a uh, ton of weeds and weed roots and whatnot so I decided to just you know just dig it out and then just replace it with something that's a little bit better as I go along. And uh, this, this type of work seems to be more of what this uh, trencher is suited to do. Um, you know, digging out those big tree stumps and roots and whatnot really uh, tend to give it a pretty good beating. Where, you know, doing this kind of work, it's really just idling along and um, you're not stressing it or, you know, pushing it too hard. 
so I'm hoping that uh, this video does answer you know some of the questions about just how high you really can uh, you know load if you could load a truck or whatnot and I know that the walls on my F-350 are about side walls are about five feet off the ground and uh, there would be absolutely no way to um, to get the bucket over it so um, I guess uh, you know as long as you have a low trailer or a flatbed trailer or something with low sides um, it, you can do it, but the only other thing that you have to do is you have to um, constantly move the trailer around just so that you can um, reach it while you have the bucket curled to be able to dump into it. Someday I may have to um, try and do a video of that trailer that I built there. Um, actually, I built it uh, to dump and it has a um, it's one of those I think 17 cubic foot trailers that I started out with that came with some small wheels that uh, would go flat if you loaded it and I put a um, you know a good 2,000 pound axle under it and then it actually pivots on there and there is a um, one of those I think it's an eight ton long ram jacks under there and you can see there's a little lever sticking up in the front of it that you just pump it to uh, dump it so um, you know maybe if I get some time I'll uh, do a video of that someday too Thanks for taking the time to watch my video and please subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this.